Hello, people. This is Bad Track 5 KDE 4.6, I believe. I'll do a genome, but right now I got a little, you know, excited about the KDE because it has a bunch of new little things that I just like about it. And I was wor I was trying out the genome, but I think I found myself more interested in the KDE. Uh, the Bad Track developers sure did a really nice job. I mean, impeccable. And uh, I just want to show you guys a little bit about it. I fixed the splash screen as stated in Backtrack. You know, fix splash, which I'll show how to do later. I didn't. I thought that would get fixed, but obviously, no. It, it's not. You you need to fix it yourself. It's not a. It's not a difficult thing. Just fix, and then minus splash, and then you get this splash screen back. And here we go. I automatically told it to start X from the startup. I changed the splash screen. You'll see it right now. There it is. I removed that splash screen. I like this one better. I don't know. Maybe just me. And as you can see, it's loading. I like how it loads. <laughs> Um, I'll show you how to, you know, change the splash screen, which isn't really hard. The developers sure made a good, you know, easy system to operate. If you had a problem with um, the 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 wireless being turned off because of the the RF kill switch, radio frequency kill switch, um, I haven't had a problem with this one. I'll show you. I I use the G Sky. And on my other video, I show you the problem and how to fix it. So I'm gonna connect my G Sky. See if that'll connect. Come on, G Sky, connect. From my previous video, uh, video, you see that G Sky has an error. And I believe I just heard it. Just gotta wait a minute. And there we go. I had to install the drivers for the VMware to be able to use it. See? The developer sure did with the really nice things with the new kernel. So everything should, it's fixed up now. So oh, although I installed the Terminator because it didn't have it on there, which is easy. Just apt git install Terminator. Not that hard. You're a smart kid. You should know or yeah whatever anyways let's um uh air mom ng we got a wireless oh the wireless is actually already you don't have to you know start the network or anything like that which is actually really nice it's already on there see you go to preferences in case in case they, they got the wrong one you can always type it in there oh my bad that was the when I was using the live CD <laughs> just type it in there I'm, I always like to check mark the old show uh, wired interface and then just click OK click refresh and it just start scanning and there you go see that's how you get the internet to work my bad guys Let's see. okay once you get the internet to work though you're gonna have to start the the the, the thing so I can give you another uh, interface the air track airmon ng which is easy start double n zero and it should give you the new interface and it should not have a problem anymore <sighs> let's see um air o Dump. Mon zero. And then there we go. And as you can see, it's no problems, none. And this just G Sky, which has a lot of problems. The alpha should be a whole lot better. And then you can also split. If you install the Terminator, you can split. You can do all kinds of other nice things. 
So, um, yeah, really nice, functional. I also, um, likes a lot of the lot. Uh, ha! <laughs> I also like a lot of the things that they put on here. But I'm not going to go into detail right now. I'm just going to tell you, let you see how it looks like, how it feels. Actually, I like the KDE better than the Genome. The Genome, for me, ended up being a little bit more of a pain in the ass, but I'll figure it out and I'll, and I'll share it with you guys on my website and also on video on my YouTube account. So you guys can go to my website and get the, get the details before I put them on video, because <laughs> I am not gonna make videos quickly enough faster than I, I, I can type faster than I can make the video because there's too much preparation in a video and my website should have them all so uh, the, all the this is a KDE genome and back backtrack also made for 64 bits I'm using the 32 bits uh, KDE right now um, and I'll show you guys next uh, next video I'll show you guys the genome which should be nice and firefox is the latest as i see it's the latest so i'll see if that updates when the new firefox comes out if not then i'll make videos on how to update that and how to you know update it in your updates um also uh you have to install well you don't have to i just like it there the the synaptic package manager they have it there but it's not there uh that's an easy install just apt git install uh, synaptic and and also the arc the arc they removed so you have to install that there um i still work in a lot of a, a lot of videos you know trying to get preparation for new videos to come out from my youtube account and hopefully they'll be out pretty soon on backtrack 5 so you guys know how to do stuff oh and i figured out how to how to install the uh, the VMware tools, which is actually really, really easy. So I'll I'll show you guys how to install that, which should be no problem. I have it installed already, but I'll show you in another video. I'll, I'll of course go to the website. You'll see it there before you see it on video. Well, again, this is cure my mind. Uh, saying go screw yourself.